The drift cars are put away. The garage is empty. That means we got a brand new series coming for you guys. We're calling it Street Sweepers, and it starts right now. All right, here we go. Sorry, it was a bit more dramatic than I wanted to. Can we just do this vlog style? Because this cinematic stuff just like, makes me look really stupid. All right, guys, a brand new series. We're calling it Street Sweepers. And I know what you're going to ask. What happened to Games Changers? Well, Games Changers is still running. If you want to see Josh and I try, sometimes poorly, to become professional drifters in our 520 horsepower MX-5 with an SR20 and our fully carbon fiber bodied LS3 Corvette, we're still gonna show you all that content. That's coming up on the channel. But this is something brand new. Now on this channel, you'll know, we introduce road cars a lot. We've bought a lot, we've sold a lot. But the one thing we haven't done is actually finished a lot. Not many of them even leave the yard. And the reason being is that we've been in a pandemic and there was nowhere to go. But now shows are opening back up. We wanna to go to meets. We wanna go out to the public. We wanna go abroad. We wanna have road trips and we need some cars. Now our projects have changed an awful lot in the last couple of months and some of you guys might have got lost. So on this episode, we're gonna introduce all of our projects, and they're not just mine, because the whole team has got a team of projects to show you, and we have a deadline. The 22nd of August, old school, new school car show in Longford, we're, going to, we're trying to get the whole fleet done. We're trying to get them all prepared, road legal, and looking amazing. Probably some of the coolest cars in the country. If we can, we've got about a month and a half to do it, and we start here. But we're not starting with my cars, we're gonna start with some of the team's cars. Starting with this guy. very easy to get out when it's uh, that low, isn't it? Very easy when it's this low, but yeah. As Dave might have said, my name's Adam O'Connor from Drift Games, and this is my 1990 E36 project. While it may look like it's somewhat done, oh god, it's not. There's a lot of things still left to be done. While it looks pretty for the videos, I think that one already fell out before yeah, you did like, that. I think we took it over and we braked too hard and the, and the indicators flew out of it. The interior completely needs to be redone. The engine needs work. That's a minor body tweaking. We've probably put the body kit on it. We need a front splitter, visors, and possibly even a graphic scheme needs to be done to it. Fix the boot, the boot builds, which are all the air needs work. Even the air, air ride system needs work. We need regulators or something like that. I've, ne I've never had, I've had many of an MX-5s on the road, I've had an E46 on the road, but I've never had air suspension. So it's a completely new world to me. I haven't got a clue what, it's, what to do with it, if anything wrong with it, no idea. So that's why we're here. We'll figure it all out. We'll, we, I think we have Dave, Dave has some contacts, supposedly in the ROI community that we may dig for help from because we're useless at this sort of stuff. Wayne doesn't know, Josh definitely doesn't know. We'll figure it out as we go along, but yeah, no, it's, you just look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> just, just look at it. Now it's turned off, you can appreciate it. Now, now, now we're done, we can appreciate it now. Yeah. Get, the, get the tech seven. <laughs> yeah, but a few little bits, bodywork, engine, air suspension, mechanical, interior, roll cage, seats, steering wheel. Do you want to say just full car overhaul? <laughs> yeah, it needs a lot, doesn't it? Does, it does reject, realistically need a lot of work. But that's what, the, that's what we're here for. So this, this is my daily. It wouldn't be a project car if there wasn't car. stuff to do. And the thing is, much like Game Strangers, there's a deadline. Because we have we've set the deadline of August 22nd, new school, old school. We're going to be there in a car, hopefully this car, and it should be fully done by then. You know what I think it should be like, literally, even if the cars aren't done, they have to drive down in whatever state they are. Oh, whatever they are. So, so say you've had a bit of a nightmare of the bodywork, it has to drive down oh, like absolutely, that. absolutely, yeah. And the thing is, like, it's a slight, it's a slight, not slight, it's a, beside Leitrim, Ros Common, is it? 
Yeah. Yeah, it's not that far of a drive. <laughs> but but it's like Top Gear, anything can and happen. Like literally, could get to Allenwood down the road and the car could fall apart. But that's the plan. That's the plan. It gives, gives us something to do, gives us something to talk about. And this is it. This may be bad, but it's not as bad as this idiot's car. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 come on. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I don't mean to be rude. Yeah. I'm just a little different from all these dudes. Okay, okay, okay. They riding waves, me, I'm up on cruise. Yeah, yeah. You feel like me, then you got nothing to prove. Uh, uh. So, as you may have seen on the previous episode, this is my new car, new old car, which is almost the opposite to Adam's car because his looks well on the outside. Actually, mine doesn't look very well on the inside. Mine's just a bog standard kind of rubbish, written off, crash damage, cracked, headlight, faded, swirl mark, dented um, car. I want this to represent the everyman in drift games. This is achievable for most people and then I'm going to do it up in a cheap and cheerful way and hopefully it's going to get somewhere good. So we started off by stealing, it's like, that's a good technique if you're on a budget, always steal off your friends. So um, I stole these off Dave. At the moment they kind of, well they don't look like anything, it looks like a Range Rover off-road kind of car. Hopefully when we lower this and give it some stands, it'll look good and we're just gonna, we're just gonna do cheap mods. It's not gonna be anything mad, we're not gonna stick a turbo or do any mad power gains with it. We're just gonna kind of make it a nice fun road car, put a bit of bodywork on it, do it up, maybe make it look sporty on the inside, I don't know. I don't know. This can be what, what, what you guys suggest because I honestly, I know Mark 1 MX-5s and Mark 2 MX-5s only recently through drifting, but then again, I know nothing for road cars. So please, help me out because I'm kind of regretting this right now. But we're gonna be in it together in this project and hopefully something is achievable at the end. <laughs> You don't seem so sure yourself, Josh. I'm trying to convince myself as it is and it's not really working too well for me, if I'm gonna be honest. Okay, so we're gonna move now onto the next person. I don't know why I did that because I'm... Right, well, my car hasn't arrived yet, but deposit put down, but hasn't really arrived or been collected yet, but soon and I can't wait. But, lastly, not even the least, on to Dave's new car. So, as always, I have to do things a bit more extreme. I have three project cars I'm finishing, and this is the newest. A lot of people wondering why I sold my E36 to Adam. It was to buy, and have some budget to fill this. What is it? It's an E21 BMW 318, 1978, has less than 100,000 miles on it. It's been a bit neglected. The paint's a bit faded. It's needed a bit of work, a bit of mechanicals, but no rust, no rot, and look in here. Retro cool. All of the old school. It smells old. It smells old. Do you know what's the best thing about this car? Because 1978, it's NCT exempt, or if you're in the UK, MOT exempt, meaning I can do whatever I want to this, and they can't take me off the road. So we're gonna do some aesthetic upgrades to this car. We're gonna do big front lip. We're obviously gonna slam it. We're gonna put some new wheels on it. We're gonna put a ducktail spoiler on it. I wanna do the suspension, I wanna do some poly bushing, I wanna modernize the car a little bit inside, maybe put a stereo in it, that kind of stuff for cruising around. That's stage one. You might do an engine swap on stage two, but uh, let's talk about that another time. This is the oldest car. This is the most standard car. Let's move on to the other two. We go in nowhere fast As we can We go in nowhere fast
You're just doing that because you can. I'm not just doing that because I can. But I am doing this because I can. Doesn't get old, does it? Doesn't no. get old. All right, guys, this is my 1991 PS13, but it's a very special one. Built by Spirit Ray in Japan for the 2016 Tokyo Auto Salon. It's a very famous car. It's been all over the world. It's been all over Speed Hunters and multiple vlogs. It's been in Fast Car Magazine. And now it is mine. It is one of, in my opinion, the most beautiful S-bodies in the world. But right now, as you can see, it is covered in dust, covered in dirt, and it hasn't been driven. That is gonna change on this series. We are going to finish this car, tidy up a few little bits and pieces, but not change a whole lot. We're just gonna improve it a small bit for Irish roads and for making it something that you can drive a little bit more regularly. This is easily my favorite car that I own. It's absolutely gorgeous, but we're gonna do some work to it. This has a full 150 piece pie cut exhaust. It's got an SR20 with tons of work done. I'm gonna show you guys. Because I think under the bonnet should still be clean. The guys at JC Auto Care did an amazing job ceramic coating it underneath all this dust. So I'm hoping when I clean it, it'll all come straight off. But um, yeah, she's pretty tasty underneath. As you guys can see, much wow. Uh, this is like everything you could want from every Japanese performance manufacturer from Cusco to Tomi to pretty much an HKS. Everything you would want in a car from Japan, it has it. It's almost perfection and I say almost because it needs a few little bits fixed and a few little bits upgraded. But we're going to be doing that on this series. And from a car that is pretty much done, and you guys are going to enjoy us finishing this one, to a car that is just starting, which is actually needs I think probably the most amount of work. It's my third project. I'm about to go get it now. All right, so this is my project number three. It is a 1991 Toyota Soar Jap import, little bit of a unicorn because this car has only got 65,000 kilometers from new on it. Mechanically, it's perfect. Chassis, it's perfect, but it looks really boring, especially when you put it beside the PS13. So I wanna make this car VIP spec. I wanna lower it, I wanna put a kit on it. I want it to look absolutely badass. I'm still up for debate on what I wanna do, so we wanna let you guys in the comments can let us know what you think we should do with all these projects, but this one, I wanna make it look really, really cool. We're, we've got a kit for this, a KBD kit from the States. We've got another couple of nice trick bits to put on it as well. We're running BC coilovers all around. So we've got a lot to play for, and Ryan Morton might be involved with some fabrication on this car very, very soon. So there are my three projects. I'm not gonna talk much more about them because you guys wanna see us build them, but before we do, I wanna have a little chat with the boys because uh, we've got a bit of a challenge in front of us here, haven't we? Project Central. Project Central. Now, Blaine, your car, I really must say, <laughs> It looks fantastic. It's looking well, isn't it? Now, Blaine obviously bought something very rusty and just disintegrated through the floor, through the tough tiles. Even worse than Josh's MX-5. Yeah, so just to let you guys know, Blaine has a car, you do have a car. He's bought the car, but it's not here yet. Yeah, it's I haven't picked it up yet. He hasn't picked it up yet. I and I want to say it's a peach. It's a bit of a peach, and it's kind of related to one of the cars already in this, <laughs> it's kind of similar. That's quite wide, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's kind of related to two of the cars that are in this garage. There's a little clue for you. In the comments, can you guess what Blaine's new car is? Now, we've set ourselves the date. Yes. 22nd of August. We've done a lot of road cars on this channel and never got anywhere. They've always stopped, started, sold. I've never went further than that shed. <laughs> what I want to do now is stop doing that because I get bored of that. I'm actually really happy with the three cars I have now. I think they're totally unique. One of them is like a performance car, one of them is kind of an old school classic, and the other is pure VIP luxury. I bought this car off you, and then you brought this, the E21, around, and I'm like... But then I, I was happy to let it go until I saw it now with all the gear on it, and I kind of feel like that's maybe more my style. Do so I, Do I sense a bit of a swap she's going on here? <laughs> no, 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 I, I've got a blank slate. You've got many things to fix. I want to go with the look. <laughs> <little. laughs> That's how it works. Yeah. All the things you've got to fix, I don't really want to do it. So I want you to fix it, and then you go, hmm, let's just swap. Well, we'll, 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 we'll see how we go. So what we want to know, guys, is which project are you most excited for? Uh, we do have a cheater, though. We have one cheater amongst us. You want three? 
No, we have one cheater, one big cheater, because this is our second series on the channel. Of course, you know the first series was Game Changers, which is still continuing, by the way. Yep. But one person was lazy and picked the same car for both series. I finally just realized that. So, Game Changers, <laughs> Josh has picked an NC MX5. <laughs> for Street Sweepers, Josh has picked an NC MX5. He's same, just so same, boring. Same Changers, just by the other Same way. Changers over here. Oh, I already have Well, we're cars. a long way from the other games change. <laughs> you could not have two more different NC MX-5s. I don't think anyone in the world has two more opposite. I mean, I think after a year of drifting, your car would still not have as much damage as on the back of this one. So. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you've got an uphill battle. But here's the rules of the game. They there's all rules. Have, there's rules. All the cars have to make it to old school, new school on the 22nd of August. All of these cars. So there's six cars in total. If you guys can't count, because Blaine's is invisible. Well, See, I, 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 mine's already going to be ready. It's already going to be ready. It's not going to, okay, here's the second rule then, Blaine. They all have to be low. All have to be low. Still going to win that. Yeah. I was going to say, you, you can beat your head in there, Dave. Yeah, that's not good. And then what we're going to do is we are going to bring all six cars to old school, new school, and we're going to put up a vote online of which car turned out best at the end of the series. So we're going to bring them all to the show. We're going to let people online see them all at the show or come and see them in person. I want all of you guys to vote basically who's turned their car around the most, which one turned out the nicest, and we're all going to be competing against each other for that. Because then you've done nothing today, so this is complete. That's not going to be my winner. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that might be the car people like the most, but these two are the ones I have to actually really improve to make them cool. All right. I've got a long way to go, to be fair. <laughs> see, it, see it, Josh. You have, make, you have to make yours a car again. <laughs> yeah, yours has to Says be. you, you haven't got anything inside your car. What expanding form is in the back of yours? <laughs> about, the <same. laughs> about the same that's in yours. <laughs> but the same weight of Tech 7 is expanding form. <laughs> exactly. So this is our new series, Street Sweepers. It's going to run alongside Game Changers. So all our drift stuff, we will still be documenting all of that going forward but we will be putting them into two different piles. All the drift stuff will be in Games Changers, all of the road stuff will be in Street Sweepers. It's very simple. You can watch both, you can watch one, you can do whatever you like. Tell your friends, tell everybody else that this is a new series, share it out. We really appreciate you guys sharing out the content and watching it, hit a comment, hit a like. And I also want to thank all of our partners in Drift Games because we have so many amazing partners. Morefield Motors have been helping us from the start. Link ECU will be helping us out with some of these builds. We also have Mobile One Oil, which all of these cars very much need at this point because they're all very, very needy for Mobile One Oil right now. Probably burn through half of the stock in Ireland. <laughs> Strong wheels and CM wheels, we are giving them a call. There's some cars that do need wheels around here, but all of those partners that have supported us from the start, BC Racing Coilovers from FDF Race Shop, all the guys who have helped us from the start, I think we're gonna go to Precision Tinted Graphics for some nice little decals on all these. We're gonna get some sun visors, we're gonna get all that kind of good stuff done. And all of these cars are running tires from the Tire Box. Remember, the Tire Box is like Ireland's one-stop shop basically for tires. I'm a lazy person. I go one place where I always say, can you get it for me? Can you get it for me quickly? Can you get it for me cheap? They do that. That's all I need in life really for that. Exactly. So all of those guys are gonna help us out with this project and all of the guys you see on the wall behind us will also be helping. It's the second part of another big series we're doing. We really want you guys behind us and we will be pushing hard to try and get these cars done. So if you like the idea of the series, whichever project you're looking forward to the most, put it in the comments, hit a like, hit a share, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and we're gonna see you guys, for better or worse, between now and August 22nd, in Misery Lane on Street Sweepers. We'll see you soon.